Well, what's going on, my friends? This is Gamer for Life. So this is going to be my version of the one shot sticky. And if the blast doesn't take your enemy out, then the burn will. Now, this works great in PVE and PVP. We all know that with without the 100% hazard protection anymore in this game, status effects are big time, especially in PVP. Now, you can have people burning up to 30 plus seconds, and that's if their armor holds up that long. We all love the one-shot people, but the bigger part to this build is just how long status effects last on players. And as I'm talking about the sticky, you saw also in the intro that the Seeker Mind, it holds its own. So let's go ahead and get into this build. Now I'm running two-piece handling you corporation. The two-piece brand set gives you plus 10% skill haste, plus 10% skill damage. And on this mask, I have 9.8% status effects, 10% skill damage, and a 5.2% crit chance mod. On the chest piece, I have 9.8% status effects, 9.4% skill damage, and 5.4% crit chance mod. Obviously, I'd rather have utility mods on these pieces, but it is what it is. I have two-piece wyvern, which get the two-piece brand set gives me plus 10% skill damage, plus 10% status effects. And on this holster, I have 10% skill damage and 9.4% status effects. On my knee pads, I have uh, a Heligar knee pads just to be a little more tanky. And since I have the technician, uh, it gives me that extra skill tier, so I'm able to put this on and it also has 10% status effects, 7.2% skill damage. Now, if there was something different I would do, if I had a better golden gear piece, I would use this because it gives me an additional 10% status, status effects with the one piece brand set. But I, this is the only pair of knee pads of this that I have, so that's not very good. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the extra tankiness of the Gila Guard. On the Wyvern where on my gloves, I have plus 10% skill damage, plus 9% status effects. And then of course the all-purpose skill bag, the Acostas Go Bag, 11.5% skill haste, 8.6% skill damage with a 10.3% skill haste mod, one in the hand damaging an enemy with a grenade grants plus one skill tier for 15 seconds, grants overcharge if already at skill tier six. Two in the bag, plus one armor kit capacity, plus three grenade capacity, plus 25% ammo capacity, plus 10% repair skills. And the bigger bigger reason I have this is plus 10% status effects. So as you can see on every single one of my pieces, I have status effects. And also on my chest piece, I have the talent spotter, amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 15% to pulse enemies. And that's another reason why I have this technician is because not only does it give me give me an extra skill tier, it also gives me a mod for my guns. And that mod is technician laser pointer that pulses targets at which it's aimed. So pulse a target. All I have to do is aim at a target and it pulses them with the laser. So. Go ahead and take a look at the skills. Now, the sticky bomb I'm using is the burn sticky bomb skill. PVE damage 4.6 million, duration 37 seconds. PVP damage over 1 million, 1 million 22,000 PVP damage. Tier six gives me plus 60% burn damage, plus 120% duration and 90% skill haste. So this is it's pretty decent. And for those um, who may have questions about exactly what does the status effect do? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now for those division two vets, I know you know all about this, but for those having the question, let's just take a look at this. The Gila Guard knee pads has plus 10% status effects, plus 7.2% skill damage. The brand set has nothing to do with your skill damage. Now we need another piece that has nothing to do with skill damage, and I have it right here. 
It has uh, obviously the brand set, one piece is crit damage, so it doesn't do anything with your skills. It has 8% skill damage, 10% skill haste. So it doesn't have any of the status effects, but it has an additional 0.8% skill damage. So let's go ahead and put this on. Let's see what that does. So uh, basically I took away 10% status effects and you can see what it did right here. Obviously it took the duration down three seconds, but it also took the PVP damage down 40, almost 40,000 in damage. Went from a million 22,000 down to 983,000. So yes, the status effect not only does it affect the duration of your status effect, but it also affects the damage. So now that we got that out the way, now the guns that I have, I have a Power Maniac. I could get a better one. This is what I have right now, which has perfectly ignited, deal plus 25% weapon damage to burning enemies. So when you put them on the burn while they're patting themselves down, you, or you, you can finish them off with this with a plus 25% weapon damage on your gun and also with my seeker mine if i put them on a bleed at the carnage perfect sadist which deals plus 25 percent weapon damage to bleeding enemies so we can see i have it on very hard so we can just go ahead and take a look at this stick bomb in action here and you can see the damage it does to these guys and you know how tanky these uh Elite NPCs are. If I put my if I put my sticky and I don't detonate my sticky, then the fire is just going to stay on the enemy. So you see the status effect that I put on. When that status effect runs out, as long as my sticky is still active, it's going to put that status effect right back on the enemy. So you can see the status effect is about to run out, but since my sticky is still active because I didn't detonate it, it's gonna bring that status effect right back on the enemy. And even though my sticky is about to run out now, that status effect is gonna run its course. So I didn't shoot this enemy one time. We know how tanky the elites are, and the fire itself completely took them out. So this is a, this is a pretty awesome build for putting status effect on people. Like I said, we know how status of how big status effects are in this game right now. Since there is no 100% hazard protection, honestly, the only way they're gonna be able to get off of this is to, if they have sharpshooter, which when you pop a med kit, it takes the status effect away, or if they are specced into everything specced in to burn resistance which hardly anyone is. Even if they do get it, if they don't have sharpshooter in the, even if they do get a med kit off to replenish their armor, they're still gonna be burning. They're still gonna be patting themselves down. So you're gonna be able, you and your teammates are gonna be able to burst them down while they're doing that. Also, let's go ahead and take a look at this secret mine. The secret mine, like I said, it, it, it holds its own. I mean. And the bleed, it's got some good bleed on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that secret mine. So damage over 3 million in PVE, PVP damage, 550,000 damage. Tier six plus 60% damage plus 30% radius. Let's look at what the overcharge does because you will be able to get the overcharge uh, just by damaging the enemy with a grenade, and that gives it a plus 80% damage and plus 200% radius. Now that's crazy. And let's take a look at the overcharge for the sticky bomb. Plus 100% burn damage, plus 200% duration, plus 500% skill haste. So basically, while I'm in overcharge, I can use a sticky and get it back within five seconds. Now that's, that's crazy. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my version of the one shot sticky. Definitely a fun build to run in the DZ. 
especially when you're with a four-man team, you can just start putting people on fire. And if you really want to have crowd control, you can throw on, you know, a Stinger Hive, which a Stinger Hive with this build is pretty crazy as well. Anyway, that's all I've got. Hope you enjoyed the build. Hope it helped you out if you're trying to make a skill damage build. As always, YouTube, take it easy.